big heavy pot I'm gonna go in and that is red kidney beans that I soaked in water overnight so it's been soaking in water overnight and that is one cup of red kidney beans and you can see it almost tripled in size my pot is cold but you can see I washed it first and then I soaked it in water so we've got all that lovely beans in there and the reason for soaking the beans overnight it, it just means it's gonna cook it's gonna cook and get softer faster than if you didn't soak it now no worries if you didn't soak it overnight no problem you can add the dried washed dried beans to the pot right now without soaking it or everything it just means you may have to cook it for another half an hour to almost an hour more but again totally optional soak it overnight or not to that I've got a nice big whack of um, thyme from the garden so that is about what seven um, sprigs of thyme there I'm gonna toss in a scotch bonnet pepper that's gonna float but 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 later on I will break it because I want to release that heat do not break it if you do not want your pigtail with rice and peas spicy you break it you release the beast you don't break it you get the flavors from the oils on the outside of the pepper so later on you would fish that out boom bam no problem I'm gonna need some scallion and you know I learned this dish from my friend's mom and you know old school Jamaican lady she would just twist up the scallion tie it up and toss it in there I like to chop it up and you know she would add the scallion later on to be honest with you but I like adding it chopped up and at the start four cloves of garlic give them give it a smash something totally optional my take on things a diced onion and I like adding all of these flavor ingredients at the very start because I find it, it the longer it cooks and on that slow kind of heat there it pulls out all those flavors everything marries together nicely allspice or pimento berries or pimento seeds we'll need some of that not too much because I'm only trying to chew that later right I'm gonna add about about eight of those in there fresh ground black pepper again totally optional but I love me some black pepper in here at this point I also like adding my pre-cooked salted pigtail it was boiled in water so I brought up a deep pot of water to boil with it in it it boiled for about 30 minutes I strained that water I drained it out put back more water in there and I, and I did the same thing two two times so in total it cooked for about anywhere from 55 0 to 60 minutes drained it and it's in here what I will recommend is getting your butcher to cut the pieces for you and you can see there are about one inch um, uh, in one inch pieces at home yeah you can you can cut it with your with your chef's knife or your cleaver but other knives yeah you're trying to ruin your good knives yeah and I ain't trying to encourage that where's my phone there boy hmm. anyhow if you can't get your butcher to cut it for you what I would recommend doing is boiling boiling it whole as in the entire pigtail piece after the one hour it will be tender and easier to cut at that point you can cut into um, the one inch pieces and the reason for boiling it um, you all know I like to explain everything so I apologize if the video is too long but the reason for boiling it one to help tenderize it because it will be tough and two to remove most of the salt it was cured in it is called salted pig steel for a reason it is very salty that is why I did it two times I, I rinsed it a couple times well two times we boiled it in water if you wanted to use salted beef salted beef will have to be treated in the same manner you would pre-cook it then add it to the pot here what I'm gonna do here now is add some water to, to cover it and then we're gonna bring it up to a boil and I have one more key ingredient and and that key ingredient is gonna be coconut milk I do not have coconut milk at hand and I, I yeah 
I'm only trying to grate no coconuts and all that. I have nothing in the can. I have nothing uh, coconut milk powder. What I do have is coconut cream. And this is an entire block. This is how it would be inside the little box thing. I'm going to use half of this coconut cream. So I would say about uh, half a cup of coconut cream in here with along with the water you will um, later on we will um, adjust the salt but the remaining salt in the salted pigtail may just be enough to properly season this in goes that coconut cream in there we're trying to get it plastic i'm going to go in with water now and then i'm going to turn my stove off on high bring that up to a boil i'm going to put some more water in there um, once it comes up to a boil, we're going to reduce it to a simmer and we're going to let that go until the, well, you know, we call it rice and peas, but technically it's rice and beans because we are using um, kidney beans, red kidney beans. If you wanted to use dried pigeon peas or gongo peas, you can certainly use that. And one more thing, one more thing, I say thing goes, Caribbean coming out on me today, boy. Eh, eh. Anyhow. One more thing I must mention about this. If you want it to start different, a little bit differently, to pull out even more flavor, go in with a tablespoon of coconut oil. Add the onion, the garlic, the scallion, the black pepper, the thyme, and, and, and saute that on a very low heat for about three or four minutes. Then add all the other ingredients. By doing that, the garlic and the onion and thyme, everything will release... Ay ay ay, niceness boy. Bring it up to a boil now, Naman. As it starts coming up to a boil here, I think I may have failed to mention that if you are not using coconut cream, what you would do is use two cups of coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk and the water together. It's been going for an hour and 30 minutes. The peas or beans, they're tender now so I can squeeze through and they're smashing. I'm trying to burn my hand. The thyme has done its job, so see you later, Mr. Thyme Sprigs. You can toss that out. The scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna take the stems off, yeah? And then I'm gonna break it. That's done its job now. That's gonna make things nice and spicy. The last thing we need to do now is to wash our rice. And we're gonna add our rice into the pot. But because I'm gonna be adding the rice in there, what I'm gonna do is, all this while it's been on a simmer, I'm gonna turn my heat up ever so slightly up to bring the temperature up so when we add the rice, it kinda, of, the heat, you know, it compensates for adding that um, room temperature rice. In goes my washed rice, and I have two and a half cups of parboiled brown rice. Um, any rice you like using, you can obviously use, it's totally up to you, just re remember. The cook time on a white rice like basmati or jasmine or just plain old white rice will be a lot quicker than that parboiled brown rice. Now here's where things may get a little bit tricky for you. Try not to over stir the rice. And you know, if you want a shelly or a grainy rice, one of the key things is not to over stir it. Because once you start stirring and those rice grains start rubbing against each other, starch will start releasing and that is going to give you a more thick, a more soupy kind of rice. Now that said, in my house, that is how people like it wet. There is about quarter inch of water or liquid above the rice right now, above everything. What I need to do is to add some more water to there. Remember you can always add more, but then you risk, if you add too much, you risk the rice becoming soggy. So what I'm going to do is, I have there one inch above the rice now. I'm gonna just kind of add just a tiny bit more. Give that a quick little movie move there just to make sure everything is incorporated nicely. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer. I'm gonna put the lid on there, like slightly ajar. Aye, the lid is hot. I ain't trying to get burned this cold season. Anyhow, notice the crease there. And that is what we're gonna cook the rice on on that sort of rolling boil simmer so medium low heat until the rice is nice and plump it's going to soak up all that coconut goodness in there what i wanted to do let me make it visually more appealing for you all while i i go on here 
You can cook the beans, the red beans or peas, first, completely first, with just garlic and salt and pepper um, and stuff like that. Then add the salted pigtail after it's nice and tender. Then add the coconut milk and then add the other, like the rice and stuff like that. I like doing it this way because here's the thing, and it's just common sense. By adding the salted pigtail from the very start, by adding all the ingredients from the very start, you give them enough time to work its magic individually and come together as a nice little tasty family. You understand where I'm coming from? But if the old school way you want to do it, you want to boil your red beans first, well, do your thing. I ain't hating. One more thing. My stove is dirty. Yeah, it's a functional kitchen. That's why I do tea. So don't fret about that too much. We'll, we'll worry about that later. So I've got a nice bubble going there. I'm going to maintain that. Put that lid slightly ajar on there and let that cook. It's been about five minutes since we added the rice in the pot. A couple things I want to mention here. If you wanted to put a piece of butter in there, you can put a piece of butter, that's that's cool. Um, salted butter. And the other thing is, I would just go with a spoon like so, taste that liquid, make sure the salt is to your liking. Keep in mind that as it cooks, as that rice sucks in all of that juices and all that, the sodium or the, the salt level will drop a little, so try and compensate for it at this point. It's been 20 minutes since we added the rice. There's quite a bit of liquid still left there. Here is where you can either turn up the heat and burn off that liquid and try to get the rice. If you want it shelly, as I said, if you want it grainy, there's still a bit of texture to the rice there. I am going to turn off the stove because as I mentioned earlier, the people in my house like yeah, wet rice. They just love it. But that said, I'm going to put the lid on there. Yeah, leave that lid on there. Do absolutely nothing. Let the residual heat further cook the rice. It's gonna suck up all of that nice juices in there. The last couple things you want to do, if you had burnt off all of the liquid, um, at this point you would go in with a fork, you would fluff it, and then you would get that nice fluffy rice. This is wet, as I said from the beginning. That is how my family likes this rice. Or, you know, it's like a, it's like a cook up or a pilau. And that is what I like, especially about this rice. It's like, it has the same sort of format of uh, a cook up rice, but still different. The last thing, all the way those pimento berries are. I'm just gonna go in now with my fork. They're all gonna be on the top because it tends to float. Um, there's one over here, and you would take them out. I am only trying to chew on these pimento berries. <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And Tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Rice, peas, salted pigtail. I think in Jamaica they call it barefoot rice. Listen, you have to give this one a try. Irene, just look at these tender pieces. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Soft. Listen, I have to admit, you see that salted pigtail bones? I might love to chew on sucker. Hey. That sounded kind of rude there, Chris. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, try to give it a, a test, all right? Irie? Irie. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.